What's up guys, let's talk iPhone 10 cases. We're all getting your new iPhone 10 tomorrow and you wanna be able to protect it, but personally, I don't like bulky cases and that eliminates a lot of types of cases, but there are still so many brands and just designs, everything to choose from. So I wanted to help you narrow it down for your shiny new iPhone 10 to be able to look good, but at the same time to be protected as well. So let's take a look at the top 10 iPhone 10 cases right now. There's a lot of cases that haven't even been released yet that I still have my eye on, but just what you can buy right now I wanted to share with you some of my favorites. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the one that was sent to me that I find the most creatively packaged. This was by Elixar. Never have I ever went to open a tech-related device and had it come in an old army ammo crate or box, which is really interesting. So I kind of uh, hoped it wasn't a bomb or something, but <laughs> inside, this is what we got. There's actually like uh, rounds, spent rounds in here kind of interesting. This is by Elixar and this is a really interesting case just because uh, it opens up and it becomes a utility case. And inside you've got this little thing. This case actually has a lot of multi-uses. So this very interesting contraption that comes from the case uh, actually has all of these tools in it. The ruler, screwdriver, a nail file, a blade, a serrated blade, a whole bunch of uh, wrenches, sizes, interesting. So uh, multi-use case comes in a couple colors, actually fits the phone pretty well. But uh, there is that one. Next up is one that I use right now on my iPhone 8 Plus and I personally intend to use on my iPhone 10, and that would be the Pitaka Kevlar case. These are incredible. They last so long. They're great against drop. And this version of the case actually fixes my biggest issue with this case is that the uh, rubber surround around the camera would always come out. It's super annoying, but now it's plastic, so that's awesome. This is probably the slimmest case you can get that still looks good and gives you an incredible protection. I've dropped this so many times. It starts chipping away a little. Uh, the Kevlar kind of starts unthreading, but that's after hard abuse. I mean, it still looks great over a year later. So personally, the case I'll be using. And next up, the UAG series. You guys know I love these, and uh, this year's are no exception. They've got beautiful new uh, colors. So this is like sort of an, a red here. It looks really awesome. The Monarch series, they've got the regular plasma series, which are always favorites. They're very thin. And uh, a new series for the Plyo. So personally, I'm gonna take a look at this one because uh, it actually looks the coolest to me. And this is their hardcore heavy duty case. It's actually reinforced with metal inside. It's super sturdy and it looks super awesome. I love the color. So not too bad, incredibly durable, still fits in the palm of your hand very nicely, but at the same time looks awesome. It's got this leather look inside, super cool. And also the Plasma series, which is a thinner version of that case. This is a favorite for many of my friends personally. It's very slim, very durable, holds up very great over time. So UAG, can go wrong with this one. A little spendy. I mean, this one right here, I believe is like 50, $60, but still they hold up. I think they are worth the money. All right, so next up, you really can't go wrong with Apple's case. This is the official iPhone 10 leather case. And of course it comes in silicon as well, but these things, they do look good, but they don't really hold up very well against the drop. I mean, they feel good. They do age. As you guys know, leather will change color, will change texture with time. So how it looks now isn't how it will always look, but still these things are pretty nice. They just don't last. That's what I don't like about them. The leather, personally, I don't really take care of my cases too well. and. The leather does get scratched and faded, especially if you pull it out of your pocket a lot. But otherwise, I'd say it definitely looks good. It just isn't gonna last too long and the color does change with time, but overall, still pretty nice. Next up is the Caseology Parallax Vault and Coastline ones. This one is cool because it is clear and you can see through it while providing protection around the phone. So if you wanted to look at the back of your phone, this one would definitely provide you a view of that. Also, I like this one because of the geometric design. Always been a fan of that from Caseology. Overall, really nice case. Nothing really like in your face, but will do the job for protection. And next up is the Rhino Shield Crash Guard. I've reviewed these on my channel before. Really nice bumper cases. Not a lot of companies make these anymore. And if you've ever used the old iPhone 5, 5S bumper cases, these, uh, these are pretty close. I mean, they're really nice. They fit very comfortably. It actually takes a struggle to get it on your phone, but that's good because it means it won't be falling off on accidents. This leaves the back uh, perfectly exposed and they actually do have screen protectors that you can just put on here. So that way you don't get scratches on the back. 
uh, or the front of the phone. So that one's a favorite definitely from them. They also have the mod where you can replace the back with different designs, but at the same time have that same bumper protection. And these are incredibly durable. I've dropped them from a drone at an incredible height and they have survived. So they have protection. And on the actual box it says 11 feet. So that's crazy for a case to have that uh, great protection is awesome. So that's the Rhino Shield Crash Guard and the mod. And here's the Jack Spade designer case. This one is a little spendy, but the reason it caught my eye was how similar it looks to the original iPhone. I love the little back panel here. Looks pretty dang cool. And it has this fabric feel to it, which I actually really like on cases. It is super slim and uh, will offer a pretty decent amount of protection for your phone. So mostly because of the tributes, I chose this one to the original iPhone. But at the same time, it is pretty cool. Seems like it'd be pretty durable in day-to-day -day usage. And uh, yeah, there's your black antenna housing for the original iPhone on the iPhone 10, 10 years later. And of course, the Xdoria Defense Lux. Man, I have been reviewing these cases for a while and I really like their latest finish. So it's sort of like an aluminum look for the back of your phone, really industrial looking. And I, I really like that because not a lot of people offer something like that. Oh wow, and it actually definitely feels just as good as it looks. It's super light and this definitely is not real aluminum, but it uh, feels really cool. Something different, that's for sure. You've got an aluminum border also. I love the industrial feel and look of it. So there's that. Not exactly like their other cases, but this one is really nice and it seems like it can be pretty durable as well. So uh, Exdoria Defense, can't go wrong with these. Always like this brand in general. They make really awesome looking cases. <laughs> They do uh, channel one of the speakers out here to the front, which is a very interesting uh, design choice. Not sure if that would affect the speaker quality though, but otherwise an awesome looking case. Next up is by Anchor, their new Carapax series for uh, the new iPhone 10. This one has a transparent look, and actually this is how you open it down here. It's sort of like a milky black, which I like and uh, very slim, not much to say about this case. I mean, it does the job. It's, uh, it looks pretty decent unless you see through your phone, very comfortable, and it's not gonna snag on the inside of your pocket when you're taking it in and out like many silicon cases that look like this do. So pretty cool, pretty simple. Uh, I like the side panel here, looks pretty decent. That's Carapax by Anchor. And this is the Platinum Walnut Wood Series for the iPhone 10. This one really caught my eye just because of how different it is. You don't really see a lot of wooden cases nowadays. And this is real natural wood here. Looks really cool. Uh, the sides of the case, I'm not sure if I'm in super uh, great agreement with. I don't really like ones that kind of hug it like this. I'd rather go all the way around and not leave the buttons exposed because a lot of dust gets in there. But the back looks good. Definitely uh, something you gotta take care of. I think it'll scratch, but gives your iPhone 10 an elegant look that not many cases do. And this is the Modal Lexicon Pro case. I just saw it and liked it just because of how unique the color was. You don't really see a lot of these. Not something I would use personally, but if you do have the silver one, I think it would go pretty well uh, with it sort of like a leather feel. I doubt that's real leather, but very similar to the original Apple leather case, just a little bit cheaper. I like how elegant it is. Uh, the logo even here looks pretty good on the case. So there it is, pretty simple. All right, guys, as I finish up here, just wanted to say, if I had to pick two of my favorite ones here, it would definitely have to be the Pataka carbon fiber case for the iPhone 10 and the UAG series. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. They are totally worth the money, I think, in my opinion. But otherwise, really great contenders from all of these. Apple Leather One, the Xdoria Defense, the Elixir series for the multi-use little instrument in there. Pretty cool, Rhino Shield. Otherwise, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it gave you a little idea of what's out there with cases. There are still so many to choose from, but these are some of my personal favorites. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Peace.